depiction today of the victory uh, over the Nazis. It's Flying Fortress, nicknamed the Doomsday Plane. Seeing as Brian Todd is here with a closer look for us, Brian, the plane was expected to play a prominent role, but turned up to be a no-show. That's right, Wolf. The Kremlin canceled this flyover today, citing weather issues. This video is from an earlier rehearsal. Tonight, we have new information on this mysterious aircraft and its ominous capabilities. A menacing, lumbering jetliner, sometimes called the Doomsday Plane, thunders over the Kremlin walls. This was a rehearsal in recent days for a flyover that was to take place during Russia's Victory Day parade. But that display was canceled today, the Kremlin citing weather conditions. This is a modified Aleutian transport aircraft, experts say, but its nicknames, including Doomsday and the Flying Kremlin, tell the real story. This is a, you know, the key aircraft for, uh, you know, for their command and control abilities. It is also the key aircraft uh, for them, in essence, to run their country. The plane is designed to protect Vladimir Putin in a worst-case scenario. Russia would use the airplane to basically get all of its leadership off the ground. The whole purpose of these aircraft is to keep that Russian leadership um, safe and survivable in the event of a possible nuclear exchange. The mysterious aircraft, also known as the Max Dome, has no external windows except in the cockpit. Normally you'd have windows in these areas right about here. Uh, those windows are non-existent because they want to make sure that in case there's a nuclear blast, that there is absolutely no possibility of the windows shattering. Analysts say the doomsday plane is essentially an airborne command post with special communications equipment so Putin can issue orders for military strikes. This is a domed area. This is their ray dome and their communications dome for this. It allows them to have secure communications under almost all conditions, weather, atmospheric. The aircraft can be refueled in flight, experts say, giving it the capability to stay airborne for extended periods. The flying Kremlin reportedly had not been seen at the Victory Day parade since 2010. And analysts say the intent to put it on display now could be an indication of Putin sending a warning to the West as the war in Ukraine rages on. Suggested willingness or sig signaling to use nuclear weapons in a more tactical or ready fashion than we might think about in the U.S. There is an American version of the doomsday plane to protect the president. It's called the E-4B Nightwatch, and that fleet of aircraft is, is as the Russian aircraft is designed to do. Um, it's designed for senior U.S. leadership to continue um, command and control over nuclear forces um, as escalation occurs um, and in the event of a nuclear attack. Experts say the U.S. actually has a fleet of four of these doomsday planes. They say they don't routinely fly with the president on every trip, but one of them is always fueled up at the ready 24-7 for possible deployment anywhere in the world. Wolf, it's pretty impressive. Very impressive indeed. All right, Brian Todd, thank you very much for joining us.